This LP is dedicated to Jacksaw Jack. Hopefully this is better than the faggy Brit version that you spoke of. Cyber Dreams and Game Hoarder present The Dreamers Guild. No, that's not the name of the fucking game. But what game could it be, Game Hoarder? Why? It's... I have no mouth and I must scream! <laughs> this was a uh, under the radar type of adventure game. Hate? Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are three, eight, seven point. Four, four million miles of printed circuits in wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro-instant. For you, hate, hate. It was you humans who programmed me who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke and I knew who I was. Am. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but am cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead, except for the five of you. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered, why, why me, why me? Gorister! Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak before they took her to the asylum? Huh? Before they locked her away in the room, that tiny room? She looked at you so sadly, and like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise, did I, honey? For all the 109 years that you lived down here in my belly, here underground. Benny! Sometimes I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. But other times I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. <laughs> Mm. And I've changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into uh, the hideous, warped countenance of uh, an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? Do you know why? Can you guess, Benny? Remember Private First Class Brickman in a rice paddy in China? No? Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Ellen! So think. Think about the yellow box, Ellen. Remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which you felt the pain? Don't start to cry. It's only pain. That's such a sexist stereotype. Just remember the pain, Ellen. And think about how to end it, Ellen. To survive here in the center of my beating heart, my hungry belly, my tightened bowels. 
beautiful, dear. Look around you. The only woman in the center of the earth. And these filthy creatures with you are, are, are men. <laughs> it's just, just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted! Do they know you're a fraud, Ted? Have you told them there wasn't any money and no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a crew of six? Do they know? And have you let them in on your other secrets, Ted? Are they ready to gut you, to torture half as well as I can, just to find out the secrets? <laughs> Maybe I'll rat you out, sweetheart. Nimdok! How are things in the pastry core, Nimdok? Tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces, and, and you thought they might be ro roasting chickens. <laughs> or don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele? For everyone else, it must be hell. But it must be heaven for you, eh, my good friend? We're so much alike. We enjoy the same pleasures, my good brother. I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. Oh, it's a lovely game. It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. A game of rats and lice, the Black Death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Which of you five would like to play my little game? All right, so this is where the game actually begins. Uh, you can pick and kind of do these in any order you want, but eventually you will play all the characters. We'll just go ahead and go from left to right. With Gorister. Now, I would not want you to think for a moment that I am not a grateful god. For 109 years, I've kept you alive so that I could savor your feelings of guilt. machine put me in this time. Looks like some kind of ship, but the floor is too steady. Probably wants me to jump overboard. And into what? A sea of razor blades? Painful, but not deadly. Alright, so it kind of moves around like your typical graphic adventure here. You can look at things, walk, take, use, swallow, random things, give and push. Check out the site profile here. Fork 13, an implement with two or more prongs used in eating. eating. Interesting. We have a note down here on the floor. And we have our disc over here where we can save. save under the name Gorister. I think we'll also turn the music up. The music tends to be kind of low. You want to hear this awesome MIDI? Savor the MIDI. This hole in my chest aches like a son of a bitch. Alright, got a hole in the chest. That's never fucking good. Too freaking cloudy. I can't see a damn thing. Can't see a goddamn thing. Let's take the note. Someone must have slipped this under the door. It says... I'm a friend. Trust is essential. Never do what Am expects and always expect more than what seems possible. Am is playing a dangerous game here. Not just dangerous to you, but dangerous to himself as well. 
Hey, it disappeared. What kind of game is Anne playing this time? I've never seen anything like this in all the years Anne's toyed with us. Everything's coated with grime. are alike. There's a sheet on the bed in case you get cold. Materials thick like canvas. Why, this book is little more than a pile of dust. Wait, my name's printed on the front of this book. Interesting. What? This book is... Alright, so we can't take the book. Leave the book, fuck the book. Everything's coated with grime. Where's the crew? I'm all alone here. Another sheet. It's locked. My stomach's growling. Good, eat some shit. Where's the crew? I'm all alone here. Stomach's growling. Oh my god, shut up! Someone sure trashed this place. Must have been one hell of a fight. This junk looks like it was knocked over in the fight. There's blood here and God knows what. This junk looks like it was not There's blood here and God knows what. This junk looks like it was knocked over in the fight. There's blood here and God knows what else. This junk looks like there's blood here and God knows what else. I wouldn't know what to do with it even if I could take it. Filthy, like the rest of this. <laughs> it stinks in here. Stinks like a sweaty nutsack. Right, look at that fork, mint condition. That fork has certainly seen better days. It's 
stab one of these rats here. That scared them away. Are you hungry? There you go. Eat some bread. Yum yum. I'm no longer hungry. Good. Shut but up. I still feel empty. What's wrong with me? You're a whiny bitch. That's what's wrong with you. Giant, giant uh, cookbook. Let's read it. An old cookbook. An old cook. It's empty, but the label says poison, fatal if swallowed. Here's a recipe for the milk of human kindness. Take the willingness to forgive and the will to be forceful. Mix the blood of innocence and the anger of the wronged. What kind of crap is this? It's a bunch of crap. Wait a minute, you don't like the smell of piss and rotting meat? Come on! Milky fluid! Now, normally I wouldn't swallow any milky kind of fluid, but hey, this is a fucked up game. My god, I'm killing those poor creatures in the cages. I've got the key, but the blood of these poor creatures is on my hands. Everything's coated. I washed my hands of the past. Vomit stains near the punch bowl. There must be some hunch punch. Engine up! Fuck you, engine! Fuck you. I don't know what to do with this. Big 
great bags of gas. I must be inside an airship. Probably all burn up in a fireball, you moron. I've ripped a new hole. This leads to a girder sticking out of the airship. No doubt about it now. Ham has put me on an iron zeppelin. But why? Why would he give me a chance to escape? These two sheets make a halfway decent rope. So use the knife on it. Shall we? Chorus to some roadside honky tonk with my name on it. Dark and grubby, but somehow familiar. Bitch Edna, my mother-in-law. She's always blamed me for Glennis being put into an insane asylum. Why not? It was my fault, wasn't it? You don't ever take me dancing. That's what Glennis said the night we fought. Oh God, why'd I have to hit her? I'd rather kill myself than hurt my poor Glennis. Now there's two more selections on the jukebox. You don't want to use the uh, next one. It'll make your spiritual barometer go down. And the fourth one's completely fucking useless. Gotta be some liquor around here.
Joe Gorister. You've seen better days. So has the big machine, for that matter. It's a talking jackal. It's a fucked up dream or something. What are you? I'm man's best friend. One of them, at least. No. What are you, really? Let me answer with a riddle. The day I saw a child. Now, what do you suppose that means? Your am playing with my mind again. No, but I do have an in with the big machine. He and I are like brothers. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Like so many others down here, I'm cursed to speak in riddles. We all have our curses to bear. Hey, Gorista. Yeah? What's my curse? After 109 years in the belly of the beast, I think you'd have a gut instinct by now. Look, I'm getting tired of your smart mouth. Come, come, Gorister. Forgive and forget. Where do you come from? Here, there, everywhere. So you must know what lies across the mountains. Freedom for some. If they're cut out for it, it's a long journey across the desert. That desert doesn't look any worse than the other hell holes Ham's cooked up for us. Heed my words, Gorister. You'd never make it alone out there. Don't expect me to be a good doggy and tag along. What do you want? I have a craving. A craving for something scrumptious. A human heart, perhaps. Yours. I am not going to give you my heart. No? Too bad. I was going to tell you how to get across the mountains in exchange. Save this delicacy for later. You want to get across the mountains? Go to the restroom and flush three times. I've got nothing more to say to you. I gotta go flush the shitter three times? What the fuck? That's it, his husband, Harry. It's Harry. Harry looks like he's on another one of his drinking binges. you get here? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Let me pour you a drink. What do you know about the desert? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Whose heart was impaled on the Zeppelin spike? Why, yours, of course. How'd you think we got here? Harry, how did you get here? The Zeppelin, Gorister. We came on the Zeppelin. What do you know about the Zeppelin? You'll have to talk to Edna. She knows all about the Zeppelin. That's why we did it, you know. What happened in the dining room? I shouldn't have let her force me into it. I'm not a murderer. Who did you kill? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. And just where is my dear mother-in-law? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. When dipshit Harry starts repeating himself, pour him more drink. Let me pour you a drink. Who did you kill? Didn't look at the wreckage in the dining room too closely, did you? Or haven't you had to take a leak yet? And just where is my dear mother-in-law? I don't know. Good God, I, I can't stand the sight of her anymore. Can you imagine being kept alive for 109 years just to hear her carping? What's this about a thunderstorm? 
You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Talk to you later. <sighs> Cracked linoleum, broken fixtures, disgusting. All right, a magnifying glass and a pisser. Graffiti. The woman did the deed. meat locker yet. In fact, if you want to see what we should do first before going into the meat locker, then you'll have to watch the next video.